good day viewers i hope you are doing well wherever you are watching this video from so we are answering 2019 mathematics paper 2 question 10b this question uh, is coming from the topic f geometry okay so i want you to follow nicely how you can answer it so the question reads the points k l and m are on the surface of the earth as shown in the diagram below so you can see on this diagram below you have the points uh, which are k l and m they are shown on this surface of the what of the earth okay so uh take pi to be 3.142 and the radius to be the 370 in kilometers so the value of the pi it should be 3.142 then the radius of the earth should be in kilometers which is the 370 kilometers so let's look at question one find the difference in the longitudes between points k and d l carrying two marks roman numeral two find in kilometers the distance a l m the distance from l to m then b the distance from k to l from k to l okay so here L to M, we are talking about the distance along the line of longitude. Then K to L, here, we are talking about the distance along the line of what? Latitude. So let's see how we can answer question one. All right. So uh, how can we find the difference in the longitudes? Remember, difference in what? Longitude between point K and L. So your point K is right here. Okay. Then your point L is right here. So point K and L, they are lying on the same what? Latitude. No wonder they have asked you to find the difference in the longitudes. Because point K, point K is on the longitude what? Is on the longitude 30 degrees west, as you can see right here. It's lying on this longitude. Then point L is lying on this longitude. Okay? Point L is lying on longitude what? This is the longitude, which is... 60 degrees east. So, how can we find the difference in the longitudes? So, you say the difference, the difference in the longitude is equal to. So, here you have 30 and 60. So, you say 30. Now, they are lying on different what? Uh, positions. This one is on west, this one is on east. So, we are supposed to add them, okay? So, you just say 30 plus. But if they were lying on the same uh, side, for example, west-west, I would have subtracted, or east-east, okay? So when you add 30 plus 60, you are going to get 90 degrees. This is the difference in longitude. Right, so we have come now to Roman numeral 2. Remember, the question was, uh, find in kilometers the distance LM. So they want you to find the distance LM. So this is very easy to identify. You can see that the point L and the point M, they are lying along the line of what? Longitude. Okay? They are lying along the line of what? Longitude. So we are finding the distance along the line of who? Longitude for point L and M. Okay? So before you do that, come up with a formula where you say LM, the distance of LM is equal to theta over 360 degrees times, since they are lying between along the line of longitude so we are coming up with a formula for distance along the line of longitude where we say 2 pi r okay so according to the data when you organize the information r is the radius of the earth which you have been given which is 370 then pi you have is 3.142 now what is the value of the theta so the theta is this one okay so the value of the theta in this case since they are lying on the same longitude, you are going to find the difference in what? In the latitude. So, uh, L is lying on latitude 50, okay? Then M is lying on latitude 45. This one on 50, this one on 45. Now, are they lying on the same side? This one is on north, this one is south. So, I'm supposed to add, okay? So, I'm just going to say 50 plus 45, okay? Which will give you 5, this one 9. So 95. So the theta is going to be 95 degrees. So just repress. You say LM is equal to. Here we put 95 over 360 degrees.
times 2 times 3.142 times radius which is 63 70 like that so lm equal to no need to struggle just get your calculator there and you press everything on the calculator there where you say 95 times uh, 2 times 3.142 again times 370 so 95 times 2 times 3.142 times the radius of the earth which is 370 so when you punch everything on the calculator you are coming up with this this is the figure I don't know if you are able to see it this is the figure that you are going to come up with so I've just multiplied on top so what I'll do is I'll say divide okay my answer will divide it with 300 and skist so divided by 300 and skist I'll get this answer after dividing with the 300 and skist so make sure that you are also punching on your calculator so that uh, you see the value that you are going to have I might make a mistake as I am punching on the calculator there. So therefore, LM, the distance from L to M, now the final answer, we leave our answer correct to three significant figures if the instructions are not stipulated on the question. So I'll write one, zero. The number to make it three is five. Okay? So this five is going to be rounded off by the previous bar, which is six. So, remember what I've been saying, if a number is starting from 5 going up, it's a 1, okay? Automatically, this one will become a 0, and you will also remain with a 0 there. So, this 1 plus 5, you get a 6, and then you write 0, 0, in kilometers. So, this is the distance from L to M, okay? So, let's now go to the second question. This was A, now let's go to B. Alright, so we have now come to question B. Okay, the question is still the same. Uh, find in kilometers the distance between K and L. So the distance between K and what? L. So first thing, identify on which line are they? Are these points lying? So K and L, they are lying along the line of what? Along the line of latitude. Okay, so we are going to find the distance along the line of what? Latitude. So you say, uh, distance along the line KL is equal to come up with the formula that we use to find the distance along the line of what? Latitude, which is theta over 360 degrees times 2 pi R cos what? X. You can say cos X or cos Y. Okay? This uh, X there is just representing the angle, okay, which is in latitude. In this case, KL, they are lying on this latitude, latitude, which is what? 50 degrees north. So where you have X, you are going to put 50. Then radius of the Earth you have been given is 63, what? 70, not so. Okay, now what about the theta? So the theta, since you are, this is the distance along the line of latitude. So you are going to consider the difference in the longitudes. So K is lying, is lying on longitude 30 degrees west, then uh, L is lying on longitude, 60 degrees what? East. East, west. Different, not so. So we are going to add 60 plus 30, which will give you a 90. Okay? So where there is theta, we are going to put a 90. So you say KL is equal to 90 over 360 times 2 times the pi is 3.142 times the radius of the earth is 370 times cos. So you say cos. Remember what I said? This x representing the angle in latitude, which is a 50 degrees. So cos C, 50 right there. Okay? So what you do, you can try to reduce this. You just say 90 here, 1. Uh, how many times does? 90 go into 300 and skisti. Okay? Because there are many times 4. Not so. So try now to multiply 1 times 2 times 3.142 times 370 times cos 50. After doing that, then you divide by 
uh, for there. That's what you are going to do. So allow me to just rub on top so that I come up with the correct value. All right. So remember what I've said. We are multiplying the whatever is on top there. So you say 2 times 3.142 times the radius of the earth, which is the 3, 70 times cos 50. That's what I said. Huh? Yeah. So you get this value. This is the value that you get. Is it clear? This is the value that you get. Yeah. So if you get this value, remember I have obtained this value just by multiplying the numerators on top. So I'm going to divide by 4. So for me, I'll just say divide, okay? My answer will be divided by 4. Divided by 4. Alright, so this is the figure that I'm coming up with, which is KL. I'll write the, everything that I've gotten. 6, 4, 3, 2. Point five four nine one six three. So our final answer, therefore, remember, let's ensure that we leave our answer to three significant figures if the instructions were not given there. So six six four. The number to make it three is this number three. Now this number has to be rounded off by two. This is less than five. So it's a zero zero plus three. You get 3, then a 0 there. You even write kilometers because the radius of the earth was in kilometers. So this is our answer. We, have, uh, we are done answering this question. Thank you so much for having time to view this content. Ensure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you are watching us on Facebook page, ensure that you follow and invite your friends. If you are watching this video on TikTok, make sure that you give it a like and you follow us. Thank you.